Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy back again, Joshua Cadence, aka J Cadence, or just Cadence. It's me, it's your boy. And if you don't know me, welcome to my channel. I am a rapper slash um, business owner and minister, uh, not on paper, but I, I serve in the ministry at my church, um, doing the kids' choir. Uh, and I've done youth ministry for a long time. So I'm very passionate about seeing young folks and grown folks because I'm pushing 30. Uh, <laughs> I'm 26. I'm a young, I'm a youngin. But yeah, I'm passionate about young youth and young adults getting their purpose in check through the power of God, through the knowledge of God. The Bible says wisdom um the fear of all the fear of God is a, is the beginning of wisdom and that's what I desire to do I desire to help people find clarity of themselves of God of themselves and of this world of people um through the through the fear of God through knowing God so without further ado let me get into this you guys I I'm grateful for all five of you who have, who have been watching honestly like, thank you guys. Um, I'm glad that you find value in these videos. This is what I do this for. I, I do this for every one of your views. And a lot of people say it ain't about the, it ain't about the views. Yeah, it is because I want to reach as many people as possible with the word of the Lord. So I care about you, um, all five of you, all six of you who watch regularly. But anyway, if you um, pay attention to my channel, the last um, video I posted was just a word of encouragement um, telling you guys what I felt the Lord was telling me during prayer, which is that the wave is coming. Well, what is what is the wave? It, it represents different things for different people. Uh, but in culture, you know, the wave represents um, the trend. It represents, it even represents um, your your glow up, your come up, your, your blow up. It, it represents that because you know, when when um, success happens, even though you've been doing things consistently to get to this point, most likely, even if it's just a random video that goes viral of you doing something, hey, that's who you've been your whole life. It just took a camera and social media to finally put a light on it. And so even though you've been doing this or you've been this way for your whole life, all of a sudden, like a wave, here comes popularity, here comes admiration, here comes love. Sometimes even here comes hate. Sometimes you catch a wave of hate. And sometimes it's, you know, in good trouble. Sometimes we put ourselves in bad trouble. But God is saying that the good wave is coming. The good wave is coming. And only you know if that's, if that's a word of encouragement for you. Um, not all of us are in the same season, but God says for those who have fasted, those who have been praying, those who have stayed faithful, those who have gotten back up every time they fall in, those who have who have repent, who have stayed in the heart of repentance, God says the wave is coming. There was there's an apostle um, actually who's over my church. Um, he oversees my pastor. He's like his spiritual father, and he posted and said this next blessing that's coming is coming even though you didn't do everything right. And so this is not an excuse for those who ain't just, you know, ain't been given a gosh darn about anything. This is a this is a word of encouragement for those who have been fighting, you've been struggling, you've been toiling, you took you've taken some losses. Sometimes it's been your fault, sometimes it's been others' fault, but either way you've always had a heart a heart of repentance. You've always gotten back up. You've always um, strived for reconciliation when it's possible with people and, and, and especially with God, which is always possible. When you come to him, he promises that he will always receive you. And so these, this is the type of people that this word is for. And God says, your wave is near. Now, when we look in the Bible, we see so many different um, representations of water. Obviously, you know, wave, we talking about, we, we, we talking about a reference to the sea. OK, um, but there's there could be a wave of a lot of different things. Um, but specifically, we're going to talk about water, the way the wave of water that represents that is represented in the Bible, what that represents and the wave, the tide of Jesus, blood, blood flowing from his body for us. If you watch that last video, it was um, called <clears throat> it was a song I was playing called Calvary's Tide. 
And it's called Calvary's Tide because the blood of Jesus flowed like just like like a like a rushing wave over all of our sin and cleansed us from all of all of our unrighteousness. And the Bible also says by his stripes we're healed. That's another song I didn't get to play at the end of the um of the video that I wanted to because I ran out of time. I had to do something. But there's a song called um It Is So by Elevation Worships. And it goes, the chorus is, By your stripes I am healed. With one touch I am made whole. You have spoken and I know that it is so. My God, I feel that one. And the second part, In the storm you are peace. In your love it won't let me go. You have spoken, and I know that it is so. And so God is saying to you, you notice how both of those represent, one represent the blood of Jesus, which flowed from his body after they, they beat him, but also when they poked him from, uh, poked him in his side, it said blood like water flowed from his side. <clears throat> and he did that to make sure he was dead. Thank God, because he was he was dead, which means he could rise much that that much sooner he could rise and um yeah so this this is and then the part where it says in the storm your peace so there there are different type of waves that are coming god says you've been bothered by the wrong kind of waves for a long time and you've you've fought you've you fought and your 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 um ship has capsized but you've found some kind of way to turn that thing over and get back in the ship and it keeps going and keep going and crying and calling on jesus and sometimes you you let out a cuss word but you call on jesus you know and god says god, i see your fight ah i see your fight hebrews 6 says the lord is not unjust he remembers your labor of love for for those around you uh for the saints really is what it says and he's he's not unjust. He remembers the work that you've done and the love that you've shown. And he said, and um, the writer of Hebrews said, "Let you, I pray you keep growing in love. You keep growing. You keep growing in love, so that you can access the wonderful plans of God, the wonderful purpose of God. And so, your this is a side point. Your destiny is tied to your ability to love others." And we're all going through things where we're asking God, how do we how, how do we love people, man? And we fail. I had a failure. I had to apologize to my brother. I may have to, uh, you know, we'll have to have another talk later. But, you know, we're in we're in situations or all in situations that we that we um, are, are, are challenged with to show love. We're challenged to show love in. And I want to let somebody know. If you got to cut a person off, you got to cut a person off. That's not being loveless. What's unloving is, you know, going to gossip about the person or calling them out their name. You know, um, not not clothing your enemies. If God tells you to clothe your enemies, you know, I had to give me and my brother had a disagreement. I still gave him a ride. I didn't leave him stranded. You know, so it's things like things like that. You know what I mean? Um, and God is honestly still working in my heart about this situation. It's. I'm still inquiring to the Lord about that. But, you know, that's that's the thing. When you're not inquiring of the Lord of things, this you know, this word ain't even for you. This word of encouragement ain't for you. God is talking to people who are wrestling with this. They're, they're fighting for the win. They're trying to get the W. And they might have a fail, a, a fall here or there, but they keep going. They're trying to get that W. They're trying to get the prize. They're pressing on toward the prize of the high calling. And so this word is for you. If, um you know if if that's you but back to the representations in the bible we have we have the um we're 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 cleansed we're we're cleansed and um declared publicly with baptism water baptism right after we repent give our lives to jesus then we're baptized in water um and then we're baptized with fire before I get to the fire and point out how interesting that is, look, this there's so many uh, there's so many references to the significance of water in Scripture. You know, Moses he parted the Red Sea. He caused waves 
to part and them to walk through the sea on dry land to get to the promised land. Look, waves came and washed all and cleansed all the earth of, of all of the evil when, when Noah built the ark and the waves carried him to dry ground eventually, 40 days. And so <clears throat> we have these different representations. And of course, there's there's a wave of of baptism when when you go down in those waters and you rise up um, just representing another level of newness and another graduation in, in your faith and your walk with God, right? And the water cleanses you. Uh, 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 it brings clarity. The water brings clarity. The water... The water cleanses you of, of, um, help me, Holy Spirit. Imagine, let's say, imagine, um, a piece of gold, a, a big nugget of gold in the, um, in the, in the dirt. You find that big nugget of gold is covered in dirt. The water washes it clean. So now you can see it for what it is. So the water may wash off all the dirt and everything like that. But then they put that gold in fire to smooth it out and to refine it, to perfect it, to get all the rough spots. The water may may cause clarity and wash all the things, all the things off that's that's um wash all the things off that's make that's softer, that's that's smudging your eyes and and whatnot. And you can see the brokenness. But the brokenness ain't all the way fixed yet. That brokenness got to be put through fire. It's got to be tested. It's got to be those 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 rough things got to be boiled off of that off of that uh, gold for it to become the the chains we see and the beautiful jewelry and the beautiful uh, this and the that gold, paint whatever whatever people make with gold that that turns out beautiful. It has to go through the fire. And that's not that that's different than, you know, the whole wave thing. But I just wanted to to point that out, too, that you've been through fire and you you you've had the waves come over you. You've had some negative waves come over you. And you've had good waves of, of just the initial blessing of God's spirit. You know, the Holy Spirit is equated to water all the time in um in the. In the scriptures, Holy Spirit's also equated to air um, and breath. But <clears throat> you've had these, you've had, you've been washed clean of different things. You know what I mean? And you've had good waves and you have bad waves. And, and God said, you've been in a bad storm with some bad waves. But God is bringing new waves. He's bringing new waves to, to he's, 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 Part and see, he's parting way through the sea, and and bringing waves for walls. He's crashing those waves in on your enemies, and then washing them away, just like he did with the Egyptians and the, all the evil evil people in the world with Noah. He's causing those waves to carry you to dry ground, like he did with Noah. Man, he's bringing. So much clarity all over again as well with these waves. So I hope that encourages you. Guys, I hope it's made sense to you. Um, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Listen to It Is So by Elevation Worship. Listen to Wait On You also by Elevation in Mag Maverick City. It's a, a joint, a combined song. It's a collaboration they did. Um, Go listen to those two songs. Re-listen to Calvary's Tide by S-E-U Worship. It stands for Southeastern University, S-E-U Worship. Listen to those three songs and be encouraged, be blessed, guys. I don't think there's anything else I have. Um, I, hope I, I hope I've made sense. I feel like I was all over the place. But I think you guys, if God has already spoken this, to you or if this is something that you you're hearing for the first time that you need it i know it's going to make sense to you guys so i love you guys and let me just pray god thank you for giving me this word for myself 
And um, thank you for giving it to me for all of my subscribers and anyone else who may come new to the channel. God, I just pray you help us to keep us before your throne in repentance, God, and that you would help us to continue our labor of love so that we do not miss out on the, the promises of God. Like uh, Hebrews says, let us continue in love. Let us keep pouring like the like the the Shunammite woman did, Lord. Let us let us just keep going, Lord, and wait on you. Let us find joy just in your presence every day. Let us not forget the mission. The mission is not even the blessing, because the greatest blessing has already happened. We already have heaven. Those of us who believe, and God, for any of those who don't believe and they're coming to see this and they're encouraged, I pray that you would just cause them to call out to you. The Bible says, if we confess our sins to you, you are faithful and just to forgive us. So I pray for those who are seeing this that do not believe, but they know they needed this and they can rep, they can tell it was the spirit of God that brought this video to them. I pray in Jesus name that you will just fall upon them, Holy Spirit, and, and bring that initial cleansing, help them to see clarity, see and bring clarity to their lives, God, and then God. Help them to survive the fire, the refining process that comes over the years. That they may come out like pure gold. Just like Job said. And just like Job did. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank Excuse me. We thank you. We praise you. We love you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Guys, be blessed. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Used to wait for the house to be done and start decorating My OGs helped me see just how that method basic 20 milli had more realness once I left the matrix No, I ain't neo-Nazi, but I'm neo-chasing New grind, feed the block with every...